Why is senior healthcare so important? Well, senior healthcare is so important because every single human being is going to be a senior. We feel like we're dispensable. If you care like that and people care about you, you've still got a reason to keep going. about care at Beacon Hill Villa, serious concerns about Nanaimo Senior's village, a battle to keep Cowich and Lodge from closing. All high-profile problems highlighting what some say is a breakdown in the standard of seniors' care. We received a significant response. We received a number of complaints that came to us. Among those complaints, neglect in care facilities, controversial placement decisions, and the closure of facilities. Who deserves better? Seniors! They've cut these programs. They have no idea what the effect will have on these people. We're talking about programs that cost a pittance compared to what they deliver. It doesn't make sense. When I saw these people protesting, it took me by surprise. I guess I always assumed that when people get older, they're taken care of by the healthcare system. To be honest though, it never really occurred to me to think that much about the elderly. I'm young, a long way off from having to worry about these things. But my parents are now officially senior citizens, and I'm starting to think about what the rest of their lives would be like. Canada's healthcare system includes three main areas. Primary care, which mainly involves doctors in their offices, acute or hospital care, and home and community care. These services are geared to helping seniors and people with chronic health problems to live well in their own homes or in settings like long-term care homes for seniors. Historically in Canada, most of our focus and funding have gone into primary and acute care. Home and community care has not been part of the Medicare umbrella and have tended to be underfunded and often neglected by governments. So core services most often are what's happening in the hospital or in the emergency room. They're the medical services. It ignores or makes invisible all the other things about outreach, exercise, helping people connect with each other, giving people a voice. All those things that we know make a difference in terms of health outcomes. They get lost when you talk about core medical services in that narrow way. <laughs> 